Water slides. I love me some water slides. Do you guys like water slides? Well, you might not like them after today. Today, we're looking at the top 10 most insane banned water slides you can't ride anymore. Ooh, I wonder what we've got today. Let's get into it. Top 10 made by top 5 best. All right, brilliant. Fun and recreation for the family. At least until tragedy strikes in one of their water slides. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 of the most insane banned water slides you can't ride anymore. Number Got some light on. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most insane banned water slides you can't ride anymore. Number one is something special. It was deemed too dangerous in that it was closed only a month after opening. Only a Except month. That one. Number 10. All right. Steamer Slide Calypso Water Park Canada. Steamer Slide, that Steamer sounds funny. Slide Calypso Park is considered one of the most dangerous water slides in the world. Let's see why, let's see why. So that is not too bad at all. Calypso Water Park was ordered Ooh. by Ontario authorities to pay half a million dollars in fines and damages. Half a million in fines, that is mad. Injuries to its riders. And worse, they were never reported. Reports of injuries date back as early as 2011 though, as former oh. riders wrote reviews to air their grievances. <laughs> One former writer wrote on TripAdvisor that the tube she and her husband were riding on suddenly flipped due to a strong gush of water. Oh dear. Her breaking her collarbone and her Ouch. husband suffering a concussion. And no, I've never reported, seriously. For their injuries, they were given free passes to the water park, which expired two months after the incident occurred. Ah, oh, that's just bad days, man. The slide had developed a buckle in one area, causing the tubes to flip over. It was banned soon thereafter. Number nine. Well, asked, uh, asked off a good start, I guess. Aquasphere. Like that's actually a cool sound of name, that is. Is it like an, uh, a, a H2O bowl? Recreation center in Frankston, Australia. Parents can bond while watching their children receive treatment for multiple water slide related injuries. All right. The park has a pair of notorious slides, but its aquasphere has been linked to a curiously high number of accidents. Well, let's see why. On one occasion, two adults hit their heads inside the slide's tunnel and suffered head trauma. Ouch. Park officials then had to shut the slide down for 10 months, but just days after the reopening, there was another accident. This time, a woman experienced severe back pain after riding the aquasphere. And on another occasion, a boy fell off the tube inside the ride and was battered around the uh, Off the tube? He was ejected. If you're having that many issues with your water slides, is it not a good idea to just remove the water slide or completely rethink it? Have the same name and same style, but just do a different route make it safer have some slow points and some fast points i don't know why they think like oh if we change one little bit it's gonna sort it out it really doesn't you need to change the whole thing if it's hurting people or change the section that's hurting people it's rough when they know about it as well like it's it's, it's rough man number eight number eight shoot the rapids okay water park in sandusky ohio refers to itself as <coughs> the best amusement park in the world. Yeah, of course I'll say that. It's this a motto to get people to come to. That you won't remember the accident that happened back in 2013. All right. In July of 2013, guests were on board the river rafting simulation ride Shoot the Rapids when something went horribly, horribly wrong. Oh dear, what went wrong? The boat they were sitting in suddenly rolled backward 187 feet down the lift track. Oh. A concrete plume hit another boat and then flipped over. Ow. The riders were trapped upside down in the water, and it was probably only the quick action of park employees and a few bystanders that kept the incident from you, tragic. you what? After a thorough investigation, it was found out that no, the accident I'm, happened because... 187 feet plummeted backwards, hit another boat, and fell upside down. And we're just, we're just gonna brush past that. Did they die? No, I think they just said they didn't die, but fucking... How bad were the injuries, man? That sounds horrible. How do these people get away with these things, honestly? to keep the boats from sliding backward, and the other that was supposed to keep the boats on the track. The ride wasn't officially shut down until 2016. Good, I'm glad it's been shut down. That's too late, like. Comments abound for its horrible design, and most people said that it was a dangerous and faulty product. I mean, yes. Looks like the chances of this water slide reopening. It jumps up and down even when it hits the the water, like it's, it's unstable. Oh, that looks really cool, though. That was really cool. I want to go on that. I really do. 
Many of the park's dilemmas revolved around a ride called the Black Hole, which the Orlando Business Journal described as a twisting ride where guests shoot down a dark tube on a two-person float. That looks really cool. That's some cool graphics as well. And won a $1.73 million judgment against the amusement park in 2000. The man claimed he was struck by something in the dark. When he arrived at the bottom of the slide, he couldn't move his legs. Doctors had to insert a titanium plate into his neck. Ow. That was probably the black hole's worst injury, but there were others too. Tubes sometimes split. People fell off. Tubes were hit by other tubes, and all this happened mostly. Well, that's what happens when you're too fat, you're too skinny. You put too little, too much so weight distribution on it. Black hole. We won't really miss you that much. I'm gonna miss that. That looks really cool. Injuries on the slide and did nothing to improve the safety of the slides. Due to the numerous lawsuits filed against them, management just no, decided to shut the slide down. Good idea for them to quit while they're. Oh, that's a really cool. I really want to try them ones. Oh. I've seen this. This looks really fucking cool. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Oh, wait. Someone died. Oh. The Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City Whoops. wanted to be known as having the world's tallest water slide. So they built a 170 foot tall atrocity and just look at it. Crazy and oh, my God. Everything went fine for a while. Until a 10-year-old boy named Caleb Schwab got on the ride and was decapitated after his rap caught air and his head struck a pole. The According to the Independent, state attorneys actually brought criminal charges against the park, but they were later thrown out by a judge who oh, said the park was improper. Caleb's family did get a $20 million settlement from the park and some of the companies involved in its design. Oh. But it's pretty hard to put a price on the loss of a child, particularly in such a horrific way. I'm sure I've heard about that story before. It rings a bell now that I see the slide and I see that, yeah, I I think I vaguely heard a story once. Jesus Christ, man. And I mean, like, respect. No, I, I don't know. Is it respect to the part of giving them 20 mil? Because at the end of the day, their child died. I, I, I wouldn't take any sum of money for some killing my child. Oh, no. It, I, I just seems dodgy. Like... In a lot of things, people will pay you off to kind of like shut you up. I think that's what it might be. It's actually, no, I don't think it's respect. I think, much like with a lot of these slides, they need to rethink the design before they even, like, they need to go through all different tests, test dummies of different sizes and weights and all that stuff. Poor kid, man. Rest in peace. Honestly, rest in peace. Cannonball Drop Action Park. Cannon I think I've heard of this one too. Sure, I have. Water parks in the entire world. It was so notorious that it was shut down in 1996 after a total of six fatalities. Six and fatalities? No one seems to be able to actually oh, count wait, them. what? It did not stay closed, though. It was reopened in 2010, and the new owners promised that safety would be their top priority. Safety is number one priority. Oh, my God. One of the more notorious action park rides is one that only closed down relatively recently. It was called Cannonball Falls. I'm sure I've seen this. A mountain pool. It was the most dangerous water slide in the state of New Jersey, with six injuries during the 2015 season alone. Damn. Still, that's pretty tame compared to the overall number of action park injuries that season, which was 27. Which is tame compared to the number of injuries in 2012, which was 70. That's ridiculous. To Cannonball Falls was permanently closed a few weeks before the end of the 2015 season. So that's something, anyway. I think I know what number one could be. There's... There's a slide. I think I might have watched it on a previous video of the one that goes down. And it's got that loop and then you go flying out. I, I think that might be number one because I remember that that was a notoriously famous slide. I think. Could be right. Maybe number two. Who knows? Oh, is this the same? This is the same park as number four. That is really cool. Because of stupid design, really. Someone at Action Park once had the bright idea to make a slide out of warehouse rollers because a fast stream of water just wouldn't cut it. Riders went down the aqua scoot on a plastic sled and the oh my God, that thing a lot of dips. And across the water at the oh, that dips. Stone. The problem was if you weren't sitting on the sled at exactly the right angle, you could get flung off of it. And if that wasn't enough, the pool was so shallow. It was just two feet deep. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, and that's if you Ouch, the man. You see, some unlucky riders fell off the sled on the way down, which would result in horrific pinching injuries, followed up yeah. by a head injury once you got to the pool. And Action Park employees didn't bother to wait until one rider exited the pool before sending the next rider. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Also common on this ride. New Jersey, get your act together. Get your act together, New Jersey. Come on, you twats. Now it's time. Number two. High up in the clouds. What? The photo that you're seeing right now looks too good or rather too terrifying to be true. Could you imagine Hang about. yourself about to go through a car slide that towers over skyscrapers that are looming in the distance? Oh, shit. Those things did as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. But it does remind me of a band. Oh. did justice to its name. Insano, the crown jewel of Brazil's giant no. beach park, is the tallest freestanding body slide in the world. Daring riders free fall from the top, meaning that for a few seconds your body is Ooh, touching the slide my God. to the bottom of the steep That is mad. To 65 miles per hour. Built in 1989, the 135-foot high ride held the Guinness record for the world's tallest water slide Jesus. up until 1999, when it was beat out by the 100. How much does that dip? Oh fuck me! Sano does justice to its name by being the tallest. That goes, man. One of the most radical rides of the planet. I'm not even listening to. I'm just looking at the freaking parks. Number one. The I was right. This is the one. This is the one I was on about. And it's the same park as number three and four. And now to complete the trilogy oh, of God. Water slides, I knew it. Whoa. A slide so terrifying that even the most daring adventurer wouldn't even think of trying it. I think the guy I paid every, his employees like a grand to go on it as well. It's <laughs> crazy. It was long oh and God. black and ended with a loop at the end that looked so improbable you had to wonder if it ran laws of physics unknown to us here on Earth. It was open in the summer of 1985, but it only lasted a for stupid around design, a month before it was down at the New Jersey Carnival. I would give it a try, though. I would, honestly. It's because of all those other crazy action park rides were tame compared to this one. It was mostly action park employees who tried to slide out, and all of them were given a hundred bucks in exchange. There we are. No, no, not a grand. A hundred. There we are. <laughs> in action park's defense, though, they did send dummies down the thing first. Never mind that some of them came out missing body parts. <laughs> well, if that hasn't put some fear into you about going on a water slide anytime soon, I don't know what will. Fun. Fun. It's not going even going on water slides. I still don't know water slides, but obviously be cautious and make sure it's a safe ride before you go on one. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Which of these banned water slides would you go on if you had the opportunity to? And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that said, I have been BDFO18. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.